Hey, what's up guys, it's Ernie here with Infinite Scales. So today we have a pretty busy day, but before we get started, I actually got a pretty nice surprise this morning. And it's my, probably the most highly anticipated clutch of this year so far, and this girl's laying. So I wanted to show you guys, so let's take a quick look. Quick, quick. All right, let's do that over again. Let's take a quick peek at how she's doing. Here she goes. And that right there is our Hypo GHI female. And she was bred to our Hypo Super Mojave GHI male. So it's gonna be an amazing clutch. Uh, hopefully she has a nice clutch. She's healthy, no, no complications guys. So I'll keep you posted, but let's get, let's get going with the video, all right guys? Hey, what's up guys? So I don't think I, I think if you guys are on my Instagram, you guys probably saw, but yeah, we got a incubator upgrade and it was much needed. That other incubator, probably half the size of this, was getting jam packed. All right, so yeah, so this is like an old Pepsi fridge that was converted. Uh, my buddy Skeeter over at uh, Red's Racks um, converted this for me. So yeah, sh huge shout out to him. He does great work. He does custom, um, racks and custom cages enclosures and all that stuff and then he does incubators as well so yeah guys hit him up i'll put his description um down in the in the links below so all right guys so right here yeah look at that so boom the other one was maxing out at 12 clutches this is going to easily hold 20 plus at least you know if i can reconfigure the shelves and stuff like that it's going to be too easy so yeah guys and temperatures are holding good got the the thermostat the thermometer over there it's a hydrometer also so it's doing humidity everything's staying at 90 down here and up here i got another one everything you can see oh the camera's not really picking it up but it's like at 89.1 so it's staying pretty nice even so right now we have we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten clutches in here. This is the next one that's due right here. And right here we have our hypo pastel yellow belly that was bred to our puma. So we're hoping for some um, some more pumas, some ivories and stuff like that. And they're all gonna be head hypo. So maybe we'll keep back a female from this clutch, but, we'll, but most, most of this clutch will probably be available, guys. And then also, um, so unfortunately, you know, I had a whole bunch of stickers on that other incubator. That's in the storage now, so I need some. I need to get some more stickers. So, yeah. So this is what I have right now. Huge shout out to everyone. I appreciate it. If I'm missing your sticker, if I had it before, I'm sorry. You know, it was in the old incubator in the storage. So, if you guys want to want to hook me up with some stickers or do another sticker swap, just let me know. Hit me up. Yeah, I need to fill this one back up. So I had a pretty long day, but it was pretty exciting. Um, I actually met with Jesse from AEP, he's the one of the, the top Repti chip distributor out here in Southern California. So I went and, I went and uh, picked up some blocks from him. Here's a picture right now. Yeah, man, it was cool catching up with Jesse. He's always actually motivated me since the beginning when I started this and he came and dropped off some cocoa blocks over here at the shop. And he's always been like, man, you got this, you can do it. You know, just keep um, striving and keep going, post YouTube and all that, man. So this guy, he, he really motivates me to keep going with this stuff. So it was really cool seeing Jesse. Hey, Jesse, thanks, man. Thanks. Guys, like I said, you guys need Repti Chip. You're in SoCal, hit up Jesse. Uh, I'll put his description, uh, I'll put his link and his, all his stuff down in the description below. All right, guys, so let's get pulling this clutch so here's mama oh there she goes okay so she looks like she's done let's see how many eggs she gave us all right so just doing this with one hand so sorry about all the movement so let's go let's get mama off Whoop. all right that pov style let's go boom all right all right mama looks good whoa <laughs> all right so she looks a little pissed off so let me see let me put this down so I... all right let's get her oh wait i forgot the water cue the water all right let's grab it all right and like that bucket's good to go all right so water's good to go now we can get mama off the eggs all right mama be cool
We should out check it right now. Grab this. All right, guys. So, boom, look at that. First year mom was at four, six, seven, seven eggs from a first year mom. That's amazing. That's, I couldn't have asked for anything more. She did good. Like I told you, like I said, guys, earlier in the video, this is our hypo GHI. She was bred to our, uh, our hypo GHI super Mojave uh, male. Actually, let me, let me show you. Let's go, let's go, let's go find them. Come here, boy. Yep, so right here, there's our stud. Look at this guy, looks amazing. All right, and with this pairing, we're really hoping, I'm hoping, you know, I, can't, I got, I'm gonna get some really good odds because both are hypo, so all the babies are gonna come out hypo. Um, the dad is a super Mojave, so all the babies are gonna be uh, Mojave, and both mom and dad are both GHIs. So I have really good odds for Hypo Mojave GHIs, and I'm gonna, I'm really shooting for some Hypo Mojave Super GHIs. Um, trying to get a male and a female, that would be great. I mean, specifically more on the female. I really don't need the, I really don't need a male just because, you know, I got the dad there. Um, but you know, sometimes he's a white snake, so it's cool, by, you know, people love white snakes. I still love them, but sometimes you can't, you don't, not sometimes, when you have a white snake, you can't really see the pattern. You can't really enjoy the colors or anything like that. So I may hold back a male, still deciding, it depends, but um, for sure female, that's really what I'm shooting for here. So let's, um, let's candle these eggs and let's get them in an egg box. And yeah, guys, let's do this. All right, and they're done. So now it's time to add some pressing seal. All right, pressing seal is good. Now, the, I think we're missing something. Oh yeah, the top and the label. Bam, good to go. All right, let's get this in the incubator. All right, so this is gonna go right there. And yeah, filling up nicely. So I'll get another one of these Xbox egg boxes ready because we have a couple more clutches due uh, this upcoming week. We have about, I think it's getting to the end of the season for us guys. So we got about probably three more clutches and then we have maybe two to three more females that may go, but yeah, we'll see. Well, I hope you guys really enjoyed the video. Um, we're getting close to the end, like I said, over here, but we're still enjoying ourselves. But we have a whole bunch, if you can see, these are all clutch numbers and dates due to hatch. So I record day 50 and then from there, I, that's when I just like keep an eye on them. You know, like I'm watching, I'm watching, I'm watching. Um, I normally don't cut till day 55, day 56. And I normally even don't cut until I see one pipping at least, you know. Having a really good season, we're enjoying ourselves. You know, I hope you guys like the little, the review for the new incubator. This thing's awesome. It's really gonna help us this year and for the future. So we're looking forward to filling this up even more next year. You know, hopefully in like a year or two, we'll probably go have to up this one again. You know, it's always trying to move forward, always trying to upgrade. Uh, so yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, if you please, please hit that like. If you can't, please hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel and uh, turn those post notifications on, please. Um, try and get notified whenever I can get some new content out to you guys. All right, guys. So have a good one. Peace.